You're watching Who's On Deck. I'm your host, Leah Guy, otherwise known as a girl named Guy. And today on the show, we're actually not on the deck. It's raining, but we have the medicine hunter, and he doesn't care where he is. You can hunt for herbs and medicine anywhere. When I say medicine, I mean natural, organic, but potent herbs and medicinals for health. Oh yeah, Every, everywhere, India, China, Siberia, the Amazon, all over the world. Well, today he's gonna share with us his favorite secrets for weight loss, anti-aging, and rejuvenation. Do you mind sharing your age? I'm 60. You're 60, you look fantastic. Thank you. I'm gonna start saying I'm 80 so that people go, man, you yeah. look phenomenal. So Chris, I'm gonna put you on the spot. All right. You're 61, are you on any medication? No, I'm 60. You're 60. <laughs> <laughs> Don't push it. <laughs> well, hang on a minute ago, you wanted to be 70. Yeah, I've changed my mind. <laughs> Are you on any medication? No, but I take loads of herbs. So I like to recommend herbs like Rhodiola rosea, mm -hmm. which is an adaptogen that makes you feel terrific. Mm -hmm. I like to recommend maca, which is a root from the Peruvian Andes that's a staple food there, but also is a very energizing, strengthening, enlivening uh, Doesn't herb. Doesn't that make you horny too? It does. It is the great, it is the great hornifier. I'll drink maybe four or five cups of green tea every day, you but do? starting in the afternoon you into the evening. You feel real good every day, don't you? I do. Yeah. I do. I, I travel about half the year. Mm -hmm. I can't afford to get jet lag. I, I can't do that. I have to show up and be on my game. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about weight loss first. It's one of America's favorite topics. It yeah. never ends. Right. It's the front page of most every magazine. How to lose 10 pounds in 10 days or 20 pounds in three months. Is there a magic herb, supplement, pill that's going to help someone lose weight? This is the big thing. Um, ingredient that started it all is this ingredient called Svetol. Okay. Uh, and Svetol is a branded uh, green coffee bean extract. And I, and I mention it because all of the science about this and the whole mad fad about this has it all derives from Svetol. Coffee contains a group of compounds called chlorogenic acids. They're antioxidants they're anti-inflammatory and they perform other functions. Um, the chlorogenic acids help to um, inhibit an enzyme, of, oh gosh, what is it called? Glucose 6-phosphatase. The bottom line is when that enzyme is inhibited, you don't produce as much glucose when you eat food. Oh. Glucose production that glucose is blood sugar uh, if you have a lot of glucose at the end of a meal as you will if you eat a big meal mm -hmm. your body will produce some fat mm -hmm. with some of it um, if you inhibit the production of glucose then you don't produce enough glucose for your body to turn into fat. So the net effect is if you're producing less glucose and you're inhibiting the absorption of it, then your body will draw upon stored fat so you'll actually slowly, steadily lose weight and you'll reduce body fat. All, co all coffee beans start out looking like this before they're roasted. It's important to look for either Svetol specifically, mm -hmm. or another trademarked brand called GCA. Okay. They're the only ones with human studies, and what we see is that since uh, since both of them wound up on uh, the Dr. Oz show, yes, uh, we've seen about 400 or so suppliers of green coffee bean extract, uh, especially out of China and India. Mm -hmm. And when you test that, most of it contains no green coffee extract mm. at all. Anti-aging. You've got some blueberries here, for example. Yep. The purple berries are spectacular for health and and tasty too. Any purple berries? Blackberries? Mm. Blackberries, blueberries, conquered grapes, elderberries. Um, uh, in the U.S., we have a native berry called chokeberry or aronia. Mm. Tremendous black currants. Um, it's this. This purple color 
is due to uh, the presence of a group of antioxidant compounds called anthocyanins. Mm -hmm. I like to call them the potent purple pigments. They uh, help to inhibit oxidation of the cells of our body. So you can slow down the aging process. It's mm -hmm. not that you can reverse the aging process so you start eating blueberries and you look 10 years younger, mm -hmm. but you, as, as you eat the foods that are highly concentrated in protective compounds, coffee is, blueberries are. The more high nutrition, high nutrient foods we take in, uh, the more we give our bodies to renew themselves, to regenerate, to repair. Um, that's why people who eat a lousy diet age so quickly. They're not even getting the nutrients they need they to need, repair yeah. and rejuvenate. Well, another thing on your list was organic cocoa. Mm -hmm. Is, that's an anti-aging. Oh, in a big way. I, I will go as far as saying of all foods in the world, uh, cocoa, and I'm talking, you know, organic cocoa, is probably the single healthiest thing you can put in your mouth after water. Wow. Um, it is higher in protective antioxidant compounds than any food. Mm -hmm. um, we know that it is a, uh, it really is a health secret. This is actually a life-saving food. Mm. Now, you don't want cocoa that has been dutched. Uh, dutching is a process that reduces the bitterness of cocoa. Mm -hmm. It also destroys the antioxidant compounds that are helpful to the heart in the first yeah, place. That really. and some coffee and some maca and what? Oh, you'd be happy and healthy and horny BMS. and like just like totally on your game. So we've got coffee, blueberries, and cocoa for anti-aging uh -huh. prescriptions. Yeah. This is turmeric root. This is the yellow in curry powder. Oh, wow. And turmeric root contains a compound. You see, see it's yellow. It contains a compound called curcumin. And curcumin... It's in every supplement these days, it seems like. It is. It is. It's hard. Curcumin... It's got a really mm. strong aroma. Very strong. Curcumin is one of the greatest anti-inflammatory agents of all time. Now we know that inflammation is part of every chronic disease. Cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, lung disease, brain disorders, diabetes, uh, anything that ends in itis. Itis means inflammation. But you can consume anti-inflammatory compounds in foods. That These purple pigments in blueberries are yeah. anti-inflammatory, but the curcumin, the yellow dye, if you will, in turmeric root yep. is this extraordinary anti-inflammatory mm. that's been very well studied. Uh, curcumin represents about 3% of turmeric root. Okay. Uh, and and uh, it's not super well absorbed, so you need a decent amount of it. There's a, there's a product I like very much called curamin, which is well absorbed. Mm -hmm. uh, we've heard a lot about garlic. Garlic, yeah. We know that it is a potent uh, anti-cancer agent. Mm -hmm. We know that it enhances immune function. We know that it's good for uh, the blood and that it helps to lower LDL bad cholesterol, help to elevate HDL good cholesterol, mm -hmm. reduce serum triglycerides, reduce the risk of hardening of the arteries. Um, garlic isn't just for warding off vampires. This is something <laughs> that on a daily basis, if you're cooking with it, it's highly beneficial for you. And onions are equally so. Now, what about rejuvenation? I see cranberry juice yeah. on the table here. Yeah. Is that what that's yeah. for? Cranberry juice uh, also is super rich in antioxidants. We know, of course, cranberry juice is useful for uh, treating urinary tract infections because mm -hmm. it won't allow bacteria in the urinary tract to stick to the walls of the, the bladder of the urinary tract and if they can't do that they get eliminated. Mm -hmm. We're also finding out now that this may be the single best thing for uh, prostate disorders. Really? Yeah, science is coming out on cranberry and prostate so for men uh, it could be that, that cranberry is going to be the big breakthrough. Well let's make our power smoothie for just health, but it's going to be delicious too, isn't it? I know it's going to be delicious. Almond I'm milk. I'm counting on that. You know, I make smoothies most days and I use um, almond milk as uh, a base. Okay, so and we're going to use I, almond I like milk. this stuff. 
I think it's you know it's good because of course it has no cholesterol. Okay, so we've got our we've got our almond breeze. We take our certified organic banana. Banana. Put it in there. All right. Let's. How much see. cocoa? Lots. Lots Just of cocoa. A scoop. Mm. Blueberries. So you're just kind of guessing here. Uh, it's just oh, going to no, be good no. either Th way, right? This this is scientific, I assure you. <laughs> I think we've got it. Mm. Mm. You see, and plus you get you get a tremendous concentration of nutrients. Chris, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. You're so full of information that I'm going to have to watch this back a hundred times just oh, to catch it. Thanks some for of. having me on. It's amazing. Otherwise known as the Medicine Hunter, you can find him on his website, which is fantastic, by the way, at medicinehunter.com, and you can write into Chris if you'd like, and find him on Facebook, and find me at a girl named Guy on both Twitter and Facebook. And we'll see you next time on Who's on Deck.